Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 14, verses 21 through to 28. Paul and Barnabas backtrack to Antioch. Quick little recap. Paul and Barnabas was in Iconium. They wanted to kill them there. They fled to Lystra, which is south of Iconium. They followed Paul and Barnabas to Lystra, and they attempted to kill Paul. They stoned him, left him for dead. Paul miraculously escaped death and fled to Derby. This is where we pick up. When they had preached the good news to that city and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that through many afflictions we must enter into God's kingdom. Two very important points here, okay? Paul and Barnabas saw a need to encourage them to continue in the faith, okay? If it was like once saved, always saved, why would they be so adamant that they continue in the faith? Why would they make a point that these people continue in the faith? And number two, they said that through many afflictions, we must enter into God's kingdom. Doesn't this sound like Jesus to you? I mean, this is not your easy believism, okay? This is not just come forward and say a sinner's prayer and wow, congratulations, you're in God's kingdom. They preached, they told them that it's through many afflictions. This is not like, well, just tell people to come to church and we're just gonna pamper them into the kingdom of God. No, they're like, listen, you want to enter into God's kingdom, you gotta do it through many afflictions, through lots of hardship, through lots of pain, through lots of trials, okay? Through many afflictions, through many afflictions, we must enter into God's kingdom. Think about that for a minute. Again, listen, this sounds even tougher than so-called Old Testament faith, okay? They're preaching that through many afflictions, through much hardship, persecution, trials, through much pain, you will enter God's kingdom. So much for easy believism here. Verse 23, when they had appointed elders for them in every assembly, again, the word assembly here means church, and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord on whom they had believed. Keep in mind here, when it says assembly, it's talking about church. Also keep in mind here, when it says church in the Bible, it's not talking about a brick building with a steeple, okay? It's talking about communities. It's talking about groups of people who meet at the synagogue and from home to home, okay? The church went to synagogue. Let me say this again, because you need to get this, okay? The, the New Testament church went to synagogue. They didn't meet every Sunday morning in a brick building with a steeple and a bell, okay? That's not what it, that is not biblical Christianity at all. They went to the Jewish synagogues and they met from house to house. That's the real church. Verse 24, they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia. If you remember the video of the map we did recently, they're just basically backtracking the same way that they came. When they had spoken the word in Persia, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, from where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work which they had fulfilled. When they had arrived and had gathered the assembly together, here is the word assembly again. They reported all the things that God had done with them and that he had opened the door of faith to the nations. The word nations here, goyim in the Hebrew, Gentiles. They stayed there with the disciples for a long time. Now don't miss the next teaching. Acts chapter 15, this is one of the key passages of all of the book of Acts, okay? Where the disciples lay down the law literally, for the Gentiles. And as always, seek God with all your heart and you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.